Um, how are you doing, Linda? the dark brown that we just mixed. I think would go good there. Um, that is not black either. That is black. All right, so as we coming down, we have right here is actually black. Oh, well, thank you. All right, and let's get the edge of the canvas there. That comes out into there. That. And then that turns into the dark brown. All right. So as we come up, that is black there. Like right there. That's all right. And then it comes up. I'm not sure where the black ends and the brown starts. I'm gonna sneak it out a little bit farther than it should be right there. And hope for the best. All right, okay. Now, I think that's the only place that I have the black in this little area here. So let's preserve this. That's gonna be our black brush. Let us not touch that ever again until we're painting black. Otherwise we will corrupt it. And darks that are corrupted look terrible and milky. All right, so this is the worst brush I've ever bought. And it's, it's it was, how much was this? It was nuts. I think it was like six bucks. This is the worst brush I've ever bought. Look at it. It's just messed up. And I just got it. I don't like it at all. And look, it like fades out and it splits out too much. I don't like it at all. Um, all right, so I want to get the next color down, which is my dark. And I want to get it to come out there. So this is my dark brown that I have. I hate this brush. This is my dark brown that I have. And that is going to... Hmm, that's interesting. All right, that's better. So let's get that. And that's gonna go here. Like that, that'll be all right. And then that needs to chill out on that red. Red's a bit too much.
that. Right through there. Get some of this dark, I want to mix it in. That's exactly the color that I want. And that comes up through here as well. So there's that and then there's that. is doing me wrong. Hi Sherry, how are you? Doing a horsey today, Sherry. Concentrating. All right. And then you have another same thing that goes out across through here. that and that fades out so that comes out here because that's not as dark it's not pure dark it's a little lighter So now we have this pretty, pretty dark color. So let's get it and put it here. Now, Sherry, we got to get this color here, which is too dark for that. Let's bring this color. I really like this color here. Let's bring this up. Let's bring this up into yellow. And let's see where we can score this particular color. I'm pretty sure that with a little more red and a little more yellow that we can cover that area that I just touched right there. We have this area that's right here that I want to get. It's still too dark, but... But it's not red enough. That needs to go like here.
Yeah, right there. But that needs more red. <clears throat> a little more red. With a little more red, I think this would be happy. Yes. So that comes, so we have this here. Then we have this up here. This is a buckle. Oops. Right there. Okay, right there. Right underneath there. Oops, it's coming apart. Okay, and then I think that will suffice as the next layer here. Yes, that's going to do me. That's going to do me, Sherry. So that comes up here. I hate this brush, Sherry. I hate it. I absolutely despise this one brush. I don't know why. It's just so bad. And it's a comber, too. I love combers. But they ruined it. I don't know what they did. It doesn't hold paint. It doesn't go on straight. It frays when I touch the canvas. I don't like it at all. At all. It makes these weird uneven marks. All right. Okay. That definitely needs to be blended, but I'm not gonna touch it. I'm painting on. Frederick's blue label canvas. All right, so coming out here and coming out there. You know what I'm missing, Sherry. It's time for the to get reels. All right, so that dark goes from here to there. All right, I'm on target. I put a magnet here, Sherry, so I can just get this and just go, and it sticks there, and it, and it doesn't move. See? It's right here. We just get a magnet, do my measurements, and it just sticks. Okay. All right. So let's figure out, first let's ditch this brush that is so terrible. Whoever designed that brush should not be designing any more brushes ever. All right. What other options do I have? Not a bad brush. Put some back. Okay. It's not a bad brush. It's a flat, but whatever. Okay. I hate that brush. I can't believe it. I bought two of them. All right. So I have a flat. All 
right. So now we need to go and do this area there. So let's compare the color that I just had. And that is actually exactly the color that I need. So that works out. Sometimes, Sherry, things just work out right. That covers this area here, though. We have a serendipitous moment going here, Sherry. come down with it and I want to isolate it to this one section here and I don't want to disturb my darks so that's for sure and then I want that section there needs to be the same color this and let's fill this area in it needs to be a little darker let's dip into this a little darker shade there mix it in with that and then go up here I'm tempted to buy a different brush however if you've seen how many brushes I have you would laugh and be like dude why are you buying another brush please don't buy another brush I'm glad I'm not married. My wife would divorce me for the amount of brushes that I have. Like, why are you buying another brush? All right, so I need to drill dark right here. I love this brush. I adore this brush here though. This is the beautiful, this is an ivory size two and it's size two rigger. And it's the most beautiful, wonderful brush I have ever used in my whole life. It's wonderful. Jason Morgan is the one that told me about this in one of his videos. And so I ordered one and I was so happy. It is such a wonderful brush. Bob Ross brushes, those are awesome. Make you some happy trees with those. I got a lot of Bob Ross brushes. I ended up um, selling a few of those. This is not a bad brush. This is a flat. I don't like flats, I like filberts, but whatever. All right, so I have that area covered and I have that area covered. So let's sneak up into the next color up, which is going to probably be this. This is the next color up, I believe. Mm, no, it needs to be a little more red. Add a little red to that and mix it around here. A little yellow. That's a nice intermediary color. too far up with this thing all right so let's lighten this up let's get some yellow into this I like this color but it needs to yellow out some it needs to sort of be golden a little more golden like this like that a little more
like that color that needs to be blended pretty badly. Let's whiten this out. gold and let's go ahead and reuse that here and this gold color sort of extends up to here so let's reuse this gold. I like gold. Let's reuse the gold here. Because that's white. That's a lot lighter. It's a lot lighter. And that's darker. Let's sort of sneak in the gold here. stops sort of stops here all right looks okay let's blend this I'm gonna get in trouble for this oh This could go really poorly. Any better now? It doesn't look like a maze anymore. Okay, so let's get a fresh brush here and let's fix this area here with some of this medium gold medium gold that goes like there sort of a lit area right here
they sort of get a bit of a blend in here. So medium gold, and we have that medium gold here too. A little bit of a blend. I know Mark Carter hates blending. And if I was there at his studio, he would be yelling at me right now and probably hitting me with something. But that said, um, that is a little sherry of this and this. It's like an in-between of this and this. So let's get an in-between made. I'll tell you the brush I love, Sherry. I absolutely adore it. It's called the Ultimate Bristle Brush from Rosemary & Co. And it's a bristle brush, but what they did, they packed in like double the amount of bristles into it. And it is absolutely wonderful. It's like a bristle brush on steroids. little bit of a blend. I'm ruining that dark, literally ruining it. But I want sort of a thing at the bottom of it there. All right, so let's get the dark and not so dark. I want to mix those. And that's too dark. I think that could be a good intermediary color right here though. All right, and then now that is the gold. I like gold right here. No, I'm ruining the dark. No. Okay. Hmm. That looks like what I want it to look like. but in sort of an odd way. Let's reestablish some of these darks here. Get a little bit of a blend in that. Like that. Okay, looks pretty good. All right, okay, so now let's deal with this. We have this and we need we need a white brush. Sherry, I need a brush that's gonna be used for white. What about this one? What is this? This is a Princeton. Oh, I hate this one. It's a flat too, it's a long flat. Oh, I hate flat. What is that? I want white right there. Let's get a dedicated white brush. That's too white. Let's get a little bit of this, mix it into some white. We got white, got a little bit of that gold. Now we have a golden white. Not much, just don't need a lot. It's still too white. A little more gold, a little white, and a little yellow. A little yellow goes a long, long way. A little more white. Now we have this pretty, pretty light gold. Wow, it's still too white. Okay, after like nine years. some in let's just blend it with what we have and just bring it up some
there. Yeah, pretty good. Freeze right that brush. Oh, okay. Sure, I guess. Which one? The ivory. Ebony and ivory. Alright, so that was my dedicated white brush, and now it's not a dedicated white brush anymore. So I guess I will continue to use it. Alright, so we have this thing here. <gasps> Is that, did I nail it? Ooh, I did nail it. I need a lot more. I need more. All right, I had yellow. And then I had some of this here. And then a little white. And have this really pretty value there. Yeah, wow. Wow, no, no, whole lot of no. I need to come up a value, but that's like a Christmas light. That's no good. Christmas lights don't look good in a horse's mane. It's mane, right? Did I get the word correct? I'm not a horse person. I'd love to be. When I win the lottery, I'm going to go and get a, like a ranch and be a horse person. But for now, I'm poor and I'm not a horse person. Oh, the ultimate bristle brush. Yeah. Hold on, I'll link it. Hang on. I was just shopping for it. All right. Oh no, now I moved Facebook too far off. The ultimate filbert, ultimate bristle. I've never seen anything like it. It's like, um, do you watch Jerry Yarnell? He has, I mean, his technique is to get it up here and to scrub. And after you have scrubbed for a long period of time, your brush looks like this. Let me get one. Whoa, what am I doing? Okay, so after you've done his technique for long enough, your brush starts looking like this. And so it's ruined. But the ultimate filbert brush does not do this. It lasts longer, because Jerry Arnell, it's like, all day. So that's what your brush looks like. But the Ultimate Filbert brush is designed to uh, protect against that because it has much better um, workability for his techniques. So I'm shocked that he never recommends those. He does make his own brushes, so that's why he doesn't recommend it, but like whatever. Anyway, what was I talking about before? We need to do this hair, I think we can do some of the hair with this. Mm, that's too light. Let's get, actually I wanted to get some of this and modify it to make it a bit more yellow. Yeah, that'll work. I think this hair is going to be the bane of me.
that looks so weird on the canvas but I'm comparing it and it's exactly the color I'm gonna have to come back and make errors later but for now I wanted to get some of this in here sort of base coated it base coated those we can come in with a darker color and that's what this is designed to do and that needs to be darker try this Looks like caramel. needs more work in fact that needs a lot more work but whatever whatever I do what I want okay so let's get some of this that looks nothing like anything Start of the head. Right. I might do two streams today. You know, somebody messaged me. And they said that my paintings have not evolved or gotten better in a year. And at first I was like, yeah, they have. And then I went back and I was like, okay, you're right. No, they haven't. And I think what the problem is, is I don't, I'll paint for an hour and then I'll stop and I'll go browse the web. I'll go watch TV. I'll catch up on some football. 
but I don't sit here and do dedicated practice. So I'm going to start sitting here longer. I think this person had a point. I need to get dedicated practice in and watch less TV if I want to make any market marketable improvements. Because right now I have like two viewers. All right. So I think that looks good. I think I scored it. I scored it. Now I need to darken it. Hmm. Uh, what am I going to do to darken this? So red. Can't go wrong with red. Never can have too much red. And brown. And that looks like a rose petal. Let's chill that down with a little blue. A little more blue. And a little more blue, apparently. Now it doesn't look like a rose petal anymore. But it does. Wow, that's too red. That is so red, man. so red is that my eyes or is that just blindingly red is that wrong no that's dead on that's my eyes that's my eyes playing tricks my eyes are like that's too red but when I compare the colors on the paper it's like that's perfect So I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll put it down if it's perfect. I'll put it down right here. And I'll make it curve up like this. Because it curves up right there. And then it comes back down. Then it comes back down. got to be able to take criticism. I got one guy at work. He is the best critic ever. When he tells you it doesn't look good, it literally does not look good. Alright. And now I want to get this. I want to bleed it down into here. Thanks, Jerry. Okay. Next. How long am I going to go? In? Only an hour. I think I might be able to finish this in four hours. All right. 
now I got this and I got that. And then you blend those a little more. Okay. Now I need a little lighter. So I want this, but I want lighter. So let's get a little yellow and bleed this in here like that. So a little yellow goes a long, long way. That's not enough. A little white. White is going to milk it out. Oh, that really milked it out. Ouch. Ouch. Oh, that hurts to look at. That hurts to look at, but it's the right color. All right, let's get this. Come in here. That's my intermediary color there. That's right, sort of like what I had, except this is a little bit more neon red. Should have made a bigger pile. Should have made a bigger pile. So I got this and I got a little yellow. Then as I come up, it needs a little white. <clears throat> it's gonna milk it up. Add a little yellow. I need something sort of light, fluffy to come up here. And that bleeds down into here. No, don't touch my dark. No, don't ruin the beautiful dark color that I spent half an hour getting it right. Don't do it. All right, that looks good. A little more red. Wow, that is so bad. A little brown. A little brown and a little red. I want to get a color in between this and this. Um, I could get some of this dark, mix it in between here, get some of this, mix it, so I have like a middle ground. That's really desaturated. with this transition here like that that looks pretty good all right now I have this area underneath here that needs to be dark so I want this dark that I have there <clears throat> and I want it <clears> there. <throat> hmm. Need more red. Like a reddish dark. Like that. That's going to be sort of an intermediary color as you come in here. And then that comes up. And this light up there, let me get the dark out of here. 
let's get some of this light pretty color there and pop it in there that's a bad blend there's no there's no intermediary color between these two I'm ruining a dark that still looks okay doesn't look like fantastic by any means but it looks all right I do need to whiten up this right here a little more just want to get some white brings out the white looks good all right now I need to fix the hair and whatnot but I really don't want to bother with that right now hmm. I need a mix dark I think we have a good start to the hair. We just need to fix it. I think the biggest problem is, is it's too light. Um, I'm going to deal with the hair later. Let's move on to the rest of the horse and let's come back at the end and maybe we'll let it dry even and then come back at the very end and just try that. See you, Sherry. So I want this here. I'm not even sure what that is. What's this? Well, that is a universal color. And it covers almost all of this. Needs a little bit darker shade at the bottom here. And bring the dark up too much. And then let's get that same dark. It's too dark. Let's make this dark a little redder. And let's come in here with it. So I have black underneath there. I know that. But right here. this let's move this out a little bit I think we have the left side pretty good so let me 
Let's get this and move it over some. Like right about there. Piece of tape, put it there. Okay, cool. All right, so I think we got the back of the neck, looks all right. So now I want to move on to this area here. So that is that color. Okay, I got that. And I want the same color, and that comes up right through here. So like starts here, and I know this is pitch black, and that's okay, because I'm coming back with my brush that's dedicated to the darks, and we're going to make this pitch black, but until we get there, I want to get this little bitty thing right here, and go up like that. It's like a maroon, almost. All right. And I think we need to add a little brown to it. Looking at it, it does look maroon, but it looks a little too maroon. I don't think that's going to do me long term there. Could do that right here. there and that's going to take a little bit darker than what I have let's get this pile here let's add a little brown to it see if we can hit that color there no we're going to have to add a little blue it's going to be fairly dark so that is this area right there Texture to that. I think that'll do me good. Okay, now we got this under there. So, right here is this color. And then as it goes up, it's black. So I'm gonna get that black in there. All right, let's switch. Let's do the switcheroo and go to our black brush. All right, dedicated black brush. This does nothing but put blacks in. This is dedicated to the beautiful blacks because if you don't have those darks, it just does not look good. Oh, look at that, get the darks. That's pretty. And right, it's more. It's going to come down. Like that. And we have a little smidge right there. Perfect. All right. Let me reestablish dark here uh, 
right. Okay, and then I do want not a lot, but I want a little smidge of this black right there. Like that. All right, then as it comes down, it looks good. That looks real nice. What color is this? That is, that's black. All right, let's do that. Come down with this, get a little more paint. And I want to get this in here nice. Okay. That comes up into there. some darks over here but it's covered up but whatever we'll leave our beautiful black brush right there come back to it in a moment so let's get our dedicated white brush let's grab some of this white speaking of beautiful white beautiful white I don't need to check that that is white I'm not sure why I just checked that after I said I don't need to check that. But whatever, whatever, I do what I want. Let's go up here, get this in. That is solid white right there. Like that. Get this in here. It's almost too, too much. Careful hand. One slip and this is ruined. Well, not literally, but fairly close. This is a slow drying paint, so I will be waiting a solid week and a half because it's cold. A solid week and a half before I can fix any errors. Okay, let's get the other, get a little more white. Let's get the other, <clears throat> comes up through here, like there. And then that comes out. So that's solid, that's solid, and it separates there. 